Ah! It's morning time. Talk a doodle doo. Rise and shine, or you'll miss today's tale. Last time I heard Bear tell a story about the time. It was one of those magical stories. It was a fresh story. I'm coming. Oh, 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 oh dear, we're oh, going to be late. Yeah, this is awful. Hi, how, how, how that did we get down? Out of my way! Hey, everybody, come on! It's almost time for the story! I'm so excited to hear it! Oh, it's time to be scary! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Well, where is Bear? I don't see him anywhere. I'm a little late. <laughs> so, is anybody in the mood for a story? That's right. 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 Once upon a time, deep under the sea, there lived a kind and clever little turtle named Tula. Uh, blowing bubbles is so much fun, but I wonder why they explode after you blow them. We're not supposed to be out here, though. It's dangerous. <laughs> Look at that! How pretty! What is it? I don't know. It's no! no. <laughs> Come on out! Let's see what's going on! But what's all that noise, Tula? I don't understand. Where did everybody go? They must have gone into the forbidden area, but why? Oh! Ah. How weird! What is that? Look how it glows. I've never seen anything like it. I bet you that's what they were looking for. Let's check it out. Well, hello there. <gasps> Quick, hi! I once heard that if you eat a turtle, you can live to be 300 years old. I can't wait to try. <laughs> oh, no! I'll save you! Help! Oh, no! Oh! Leave him alone, you ugly monster! Oh, no! Pinky! Boiled by a fish fillet. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh no, oh no! My lantern! You broke it! Oh Here, boss, let me take a look at that. Oh it's really sore. Geez, he really did a number on your lantern. The pink ones are always trouble. I should have known better. Can you fix it? Oh, uh. I don't know, boss. I'm trying, but you're gonna have to give up the chase without your lantern, huh? Love, uh, you fool! Yeah. Give up? No one escapes my chase! I'm starting to think that you have no idea what you're doing! And I'm about to get cool. Oh. When I get oh. mad, fish get eaten! Uh, hey, boss, I think, you know, maybe you need a special medicine for lanterns. No? Yes, precisely. A medicine specifically for my lantern! Are you still here? Get out and find it! Great idea, Lumpy. Now where in the world are we gonna find lantern medicine? It was either that or get eaten. I think I have an idea. Vicky, are you okay? Please wake up. Oh, you don't look so well. This is the place. Let's see what we hear. Zola, it looks like the big fish tore his fin. We have to fix it somehow. I remember hearing about a special fruit that grows on the surface called a sunfruit. 
It's supposed to be able to heal any wound. I bet Grandfather Shrimp can help us find it. It's worth a try. Good idea. Tula, you're a genius. Sunfruit will solve all of our problems. <sighs> we should bring Pinky to good old Grandfather Shrimp right away. All right, this is just let's the go. Freak I was looking for. <laughs> I should eat the both of you now. Boss, don't be mad. We looked everywhere, but we couldn't find any such thing as lantern medicine. Then try harder, you fools! We asked everyone, boss, but nobody's ever heard of a medicine that can fix your lantern. He's telling the truth. B -b 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 boss I came through for you. I found the medicine. Are you crazy, Lumpy? Don't lie. It's true. Those two turtles know about a miraculous medicine. What is it? They were talking and I overheard them. It grows on the dry land above, and it can cure anything, even your problem. <sighs> we just have to follow them, and they'll lead us straight to it. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm proud of you, Lumpy. You did a good job. Thanks, boss. Thanks, boss. <laughs> thanks. My lantern will be healed, and I'll also get some turtle stew. This may be the best accident I've ever had. <laughs> boss, I bet you if you eat three turtles, you'll live to be 600 years old. <laughs> Everything that happens is an opportunity, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the next move? When those turtles find that fruit, you be there to capture them and then hand them over to us. Yes, sir. Where do you suppose those turtles are? Don't worry, we'll find them. Stay strong, we're almost there. I hope so. Look around you, there's algae everywhere. I know, it can grow here because it's close to the surface and the algae needs the sunlight. It means we're close. We are? Look, friends. these are the fish that live in the high waters. Hello, friends. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Where in the big blue ocean are they headed? I've never been up this far. Bye, have a Bye. Good trip. We have to go through oh. this cave. Oh no, Pinky, is something else wrong? Are you okay? My chest hurts. I'm having a hard time breathing. Oh, what's happening to you? Oh. Her face is puffing oh, up please. like a balloon. Oh. Let's just get through oh. this. We're almost there. I don't think I'm going oh, to no, make Pinky, it. Oh no, Piggy, stay strong! Oh, I can't breathe, and I feel like I'm going to burst. No! Pinky! Pinky! Oh, Pinky, oh, are you okay? Oh, Pinky! Are you okay? Oh. Are you okay? Wow, suddenly oh. I feel much better. How strange. Momo, I'll go get the medicine. You take Pinky somewhere and let her rest. It's too dangerous. I'm the one who should go. But I know the way. <laughs> Momo! Not yet. Oh, there they are. Do you think they have the medicine? Where's the red turtle? Maybe she has it. Tula went to get the medicine by herself while I take care of Pinky. Come on, we'll show What you the luck! Path. Did you hear that? We only have to worry about one turtle. <laughs> Getting this medicine just huh? gets easier and easier. Her fish friend is still hurt. She's going to have to take the oh. medicine back here if he wants to help her. And when he does, <laughs> we'll be waiting. Clever plan, Lumpy. Grandfather Shrimp, come quickly! Tula, what's that you say? That big dragonfish Mr. Scary attacked your friend Pinky? Yes, and Pinky's dorsal fin is wounded. She's badly hurt. We need your medicine. You're in luck. The sunfruit is ready for harvest. Why don't you come with me to the surface and help me pick it? I could use the help and I don't mind the company. Wow. There it is. It's beautiful.
There she is, the mighty sunfruit. Pinky's going to be so happy to see this. Well, let's just pick one now. I'll wrap it up nicely and you can take it with you. Thanks. There you go. Now off to Pinky. I can never thank you enough, Grandpa Shrimp. You should come to the bottom of the sea and visit us. Tula, you're very sweet, but unfortunately, I cannot accept your invitation. Oh, why not? A long, long time ago, I figured I'd take a trip to the bottom of the ocean, but the farther down I went, the harder it was to breathe. I didn't know what it was at the time, but I found out that breathing is related to water pressure. The deeper you go, the more pressure increases, and if you go too far, it can be dangerous. Water pressure does that? You betcha. No good for shrimp. For some fish, though, it's opposite. They can't climb to the surface because the pressure's too low. Thanks, Gramps. I gotta get to Pinky. Hope the fruit helped. Mm. Good luck, little Tula! <sighs> <sighs> what a great nap. The turtle might be back. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Do you think Tula got lost? Stay here, friends, and I'll go look for her. Quick, behind this rock. I think she's coming right on schedule. Hiding here, your tail's showing. These disguises are foolproof. Excuse me, Shells. <laughs> <laughs> huh? We're from Scary Stag. <laughs> <laughs> We want Ooh. you! Excuse me, have you seen Tula? She was turtle-napped. I came as fast as I could. Oh, no! <laughs> Good job, boys! <laughs> no sweat, boss. It was like taking seaweed from a guppy. We got your medicine, too, boss. <laughs> Good news! Come on, give it here! I can't wait to get my fins on it! Yes, sir! Sure, boss. I won't! It's for Pinky! Quit wasting uh, time! Hand it over, uh, turtle! Uh, uh, here, all for you, boss. Don't worry, my little lantern. When I take that medicine, you'll shine again. <laughs> I just bet your old lantern will be better than ever, boss. Enough kissing up. Open the bag. <gasps> what happened? Oh! Then come poof! This is your fault! You destroyed my one chance to fix my lantern! Oh! Gee, boss, calm down! I'm begging you! Here's your crown! Relax! Uh, 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 you, Turtle Girl! You have to fix this! Oh no! Why is it ruined? When we picked it, it was whole! Maybe it has something to do with the bubbles I was blowing. I can't breathe, oh, and I feel like I'm going to burst. Oh. I didn't know what it was at the time, but I found out that breathing is related to water pressure. The deeper you go, the more pressure increases, and if you go too far, it can be dangerous. Oh, now I remember what Grandfather said. The water pressure must have caused this problem. That's the only explanation that makes sense. The turtle looks like she knows something. I want my medicine. Tell us what you know. I know what to do. These rascals have gotten used to living in very deep water, but if I can get them to come with me... Maybe she forgot how to talk. I think we need to go and remind her how it's done. I'd like to make you an offer. I can take you to another fruit if you free me after we get there. <laughs> of course. Once my lantern is healed, I'll let you go. Untie her! Oh no, Tula! What in the world did you think you were doing? Your fish didn't do this. Oh really? Then how did the fruit come to be ruined? I'm not sure, but I think the fruit is extremely fragile. <sighs> this is a curious fruit indeed. And needs to be used right away once it's picked. Your fish didn't do this. It rots very quickly. Oh, Tula, I can't believe what you're saying. You'd really betray us like this? Okay, goons, get ready. Let's swim out. Yes. My plan worked. Uh, hey, boss, hang on. 
I don't think we can trust this girl. I've got a bad feeling. <gasps> oh, no! If you're so sure this fruit has to be used right away, then why didn't you bring your fish friend there first? Uh... <sighs> Lumpy has a point. You bet I do. Uh, I tried to bring Pinky to the surface, but she was wounded and wasn't able to swim the whole way. I left her behind so I could go get help. Oh. So, is that true, Lumpy? Well, uh, yeah, I saw the fish swimming with her. Oh, but the blossom of this fruit is very rare. I didn't want to risk not finding any. It's important. <laughs> what did you say? The fruit is rare? How do I know there's enough for my lantern? Yes, it's very rare, but if we hurry, we should still be able to find some more. <sighs> Let's go! I've suffered enough! Tula, huh? if I find out you haven't been telling me the whole truth, I promise I'll make you regret the day you were born. I hear what you're saying. Hurry up, we're almost there. It's not long now. Just a little further and we'll reach the cave. Someone's closed the passage. Who could have done this? How are we going to be able to get into the cave now? What's wrong? Mr. Scary, someone has blocked the entranceway. Well, then free the passage! <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, now, pull! Stay back! I won't let you pass! Mama, what are you doing? Tula, how could you do this? The medicine was supposed to be for Pinky, not to save this monster! I won't allow it! But you don't understand! We have to pass! I'll tell you why later! I don't think so! <gasps> Capture the turtle! Yeah! <laughs> See, boss, now there's nothing standing in our way. We'll have that sun fruit in no time. Yes. <laughs> Let's move out, boys. Let's keep going. You have to trust me. Momo, I have a plan. Believe me. Aren't uh, we uh, there yet? No, not yet. But it's not much further. This is it. This is where the pressure got to Pinky. Uh, hey, boss, I'm having trouble breathing. I can't go on. Uh, uh, me too. I can't breathe at all. Uh. B -b -b boss, I think maybe we should turn back. Stop. Uh, uh, why is it that I'm having trouble breathing here? Uh? <laughs> Of course, when he swims so quickly, it's hard to breathe. Smart Alec. Mr. Scary, you have to be patient. Hold on a little longer. We're almost there. You'll see. <laughs> you heard him. Keep going, but slow down. I'm not going to make it. Come on, guys. It's just a couple of more feet. Come on. Be brave, fish. Flush, you go in front. Momo, let me untie you. Have you figured it out yet? <sighs> Figured out what? You mean it's a trick? It's your chance to escape. Great! Boss, boss, I can't make it. Let's turn back. I'm telling you, boss, I can't breathe. Oh, I'm not feeling well either. Hey, you ugly creeps! Oh. Well, Mr. Scary, you've met your match. While you guys are resting here, I'm gonna pick all the fruit, and you bet I won't leave any for you. <sighs> Quickly, we have to get to the surface before him! You heard him? Everybody, move it! It's no use, Scary! I'm getting all the fruit, and you can't stop me! Quickly, come on! Let's go, move! Now they should really feel the pressure. <sighs> What's happening to me? I don't feel so well. What's the matter with me? 
I'm blowing up like a balloon! <laughs> You're getting what you deserve, you horrible monsters! <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> I didn't do anything. It was the water pressure. Huh? What do you mean? What's water pressure? Well, the deeper you go into the ocean, the more the water pressure increases. The fish that live on the very bottom have gotten used to the high pressure and adapted. And that's why when they go up to the surface where the pressure is light, they can't breathe. The pressure isn't strong enough to hold them together. Oh, Tula, I can't believe what you're saying. But it's true. How are you doing, friends? Are you a We were worried. We weren't sure you'd make it. I have an idea. This time, we'll use a shell like we have to protect the fruit from the pressure. Good one. That just might work. Wow, I'm sorry I doubted you, Tula. It's all right. I forgive you. But just remember, I'm your friend, and you can always trust me, no matter what the circumstance. Yes, I sure will. <laughs> so what do you say, kids? Did you like today's story? <laughs> if you come back tomorrow, I'll have another new tale to tell you. And I know you're just going to love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everybody's, Everybody's home. home. Everybody's, Everybody's home. home.